Would you say that you have a specific style that you integrate into your teachings? Well, I think it's as I'm changing, as everything is changing, my own experience, um, the conditions around also my, my teaching is changing and, and um, influenced by, by what's going on around. But I do um, have some, some pillars, I would say, which uh, upon I base on. And, and one is certainly is, is to hold silence. I find very powerful. Of course, it's not... Um, it's not natural or it's not what we are in daily life in our relationships um, used to do, but to, to really dig into our mind and to understand our patterns and our reactivity, I find silence is, is really helpful to, to get to know the rag rock of our own identity. And um, that's, that's one of the pillars and as I already mentioned is self-compassion, I think is also what I find Western, Western practitioners really have a lack of, or we need to, to, to be more compassionate with our flaws and faults rather than trying to be the good person and um, pretend we're, we're just um, the spiritual person who, who doesn't have um, any flaws and faults. I think a lot of people feel that way when trying meditation for the first time, that they become frustrated, that they feel it's something that they should be able to do, but they, they can't just drop into this clear mind um, that a lot of people are really hard on themselves. And forget that it actually is a practice like any other and that it takes time to learn. Absolutely. And I think there is no way around our own inner rubbish, our own, um, you know, we, we, we come across the darkness, we come across our own shadows, we come across our own frustration patterns, our fears, our insecurities, our our ego, the one which wants to be something else than, than what or who I, who I am. And that's not all just blissful. That can be quite difficult at times, sometimes frustrating, sometimes very sad and um, can take us apart from the inside out, which, which is a good thing. But um, for that, I think it's helpful to have someone who holds the space with and for you if, if, it, it can be also, um, sometimes it can bring up fear that if, if is this really the right thing to do? Now I feel worse than before I meditated, you know? Now I'm all sitting here crying, crying, crying. Is, is this really a good thing? Maybe I should stop and just, you know, entertain myself differently. But to understand that this is exactly the path is um, someone is needed, I think, to, to lead, lead the way along lead along the way 